Oh, hey, cheeky bows. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be my thing. Cheeky bows. Why is that? Is that? Does someone else say cheeky bows? Chicken nuggets. No, not chicken nuggets. Cheeky bow. No, because why would anyone say that? <laughs> All right, Jack. Hi, you guys. What's it say? We're back with a new video. Um, shout out to one of the girls, Meg. I've said on the night she was like, "When are you gonna do another video?" Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it was so nice. I always, I told her as well. Like, I always forget that people watch it. Like, because there's no like names. It's the noise in the background for me. It's you coming in here when you're. Said it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> said it wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Um, you don't know that one? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 you don't know. So, today we're gonna have a fun video, guys. We're gonna go to MS, and that's it. So, I'm actually praying that when I go up here, there's some sushi so I can do a wee bit of like a sushi mukbang for you because I've been saying I want to do a sushi mukbang for about three months and I haven't done it. Um, but Aoife went up, she got last week. Jeez. Two weeks ago, and there was no sushi left, so. No, That's not vegetarian. Okay, vegetarian sushi. Um, although I did watch um, Shred Bundy's video the other day and him and Margs got salads at m and and they look really nice. So if you know what, there's no sushi, we're gonna get a salad. Am I dreaming that that's gonna get a salad? Mm, eventually. Kind of a vlog, kind of a mukbang. And I'm just surprised that I'm doing this to be honest because normally I say, oh, I'm gonna do this on Saturday and then when it comes out, I'm like, no, I'm not. And then I don't do it. And that's why I don't post that much because I never follow through with my video ideas. Like I just say I wanna do it and then I never actually do it. I should really get going. It's currently 10 past six um, and it shuts at nine. So, and it's 40, 50 minutes away. So yeah. Into the thick of it. I thought it was, I'm fucking sick of it. No. That's what I thought it was. Into the thick of it. Entry the thick of it. We're tramping down. I feel like someone said it was I'm fucking sick. No, but they changed it for a oh, joke. Right, right, right. Right. So guys, what do you think of Aoife's makeup? I didn't do it. Don't put that on my makeup honestly, it's horrible. Oh, you're one of those people. Oh, my no, God. like it literally is. There's literally nothing wrong. Those yellow lights. They're not on. I know, I turned them off. Like, them. One thing to learn about doing people's makeups is that everyone's so self-critical, like so bad. like. People come in, they're like, oh my god. Right, no, People come in, they're like, oh my god, just ignore the shape of my hair. And there's like nothing ever wrong with their hair. Or like, let's say my skin's so bad and their skin's never bad. Everyone's just so very critical of themselves. And I think, guys, self love. And guys, what do you think of my new sweat? Or what do you think of my new fit? I am dying for Nike to sponsor me. So I know you guys are watching Nike. So can you please sponsor me? Thanks. Hey guys, so we've finally arrived at the world's biggest m so here it is right here. Can you even see it? You can't fucking barely see it. That's it there, it's actually ginormous. Guys, we're going in. I want everyone to cross their fingers and toes that there is vegetarian sushi. If there's not, I'm gonna get a salad or something. We're gonna, we're just gonna pop off. We're gonna get whatever we want here. I'm too scared to bring my camera in. So we're switching to the mobile device. Not that it actually matters what I'm filming on to you watching. Yeah, it took 50 minutes and great drive. I nearly ended up in Dublin though. I'm not gonna lie, I was nearly in Dublin. <laughs> Let's go! And there's a wee dog. But I'm not gonna video in case this fucking owner comes out and thinks I'm a stalker, but yeah, there's a dog. This is the entire size for the Marks and Spencers. Like, is this a joke? It's fucking ginormous. Okay guys, so when we walk in, we've got a great array of clothing, we've got some high-rise shorts, they're actually nice, not some great summer dresses for you gals in the summer. For you gals in the summer, and it's just a vibe. Food haul of this way. I thought the whole thing was food, but it's actually not. There's a lot of clothes, which low-key lot of M&S clothes aren't that bad, because I used to come to M&S all the time when I worked in Balmina, and some clothes really be popping off, so. And it looks like I'm wearing no shorts. How many people will stare at me? Uh, probably a thousand. Guys, we've even got donuts. Honestly, low key, they look good, but I don't know if I want them. And then, you know the way they do all of these things? Low them out of them. These things are actually pure nice. I feel like everyone gets some of the good M&S. Like, this is, all this is vegetarian. What have we got? Look at them, they actually look nice. Chicken tenders, goujons, or beef. Look at them sausages, they couldn't be. They look like actual fucking sausages. 
guys, there's a fill your own frozen fruits. And no, I think that's actually, they're maybe fresh, are they? Some of them, no, they're frozen, I think. I don't know what these are. No, well, they're like pan, they're like pastries and shit. Cool, cool. So the selection of sushi is really not as much as I thought it would be. I thought it was like a big, massive thing. But there is vegetarian sushi, guys. I, what the hell is that, honestly? Looks pure weird. That's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to get two. But they're only three pound. I thought they would have been dear. Guys, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Fucking veggie breakfast. Oh, it's bombing. <laughs> Guys, so it turns out this is actually the vegetarian or the sushi thing, and it's fucking completely empty. So I've just ended up getting some of these. So I don't even think this is the sushi, the sushi they make fresh, but I mean, we're going to go for it anyway. And I also ended up getting this beef burger. I just wanted to try it. It's not actually got beef, it's fake, but whatever. Okay, guys. Focus on me. Thank you. So I'm gonna just run you through really quickly what we've got um, food-wise because I just wanna get into this. I'm hungry. We've got some firecracker prawn dragon roll times two chopsticks. I got this random burger. I don't know. I think it's like pulled pork. I actually haven't had any sort of fake pulled pork. So I got that. I got this from the vegetarian or from the actual sushi aisle. Like they actually make the sushi in the shop. But we got the store bought one because there wasn't that. But it was literally their own fault because it closes in like 15 minutes and we went up very late. And then I got a vegetarian sushi. Like this is the pre-made ones. And then I also got these. Just to show you. Um, what are they like? Barbecue wings. Just thought I would try. I've got a fucking sample and green. No guys, the stuff that I got. Like I honestly think I got. I'm going to say like max 14 items. It was like 50 pounds. So yeah. I will in the future be doing my groceries in m and because I am a bougie bitch, but for now I can't really afford it. I really like that, I mean, it's really good. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't too busy, but Aoife came like last week, that's the only reason I came, and she said it is really busy. Oh, forgot about these. A million soy sauces, because soy sauce just, like I don't even know how to use these. I don't think I'll be eating that sour kraut. Yes, okay, so that is, what, that's that prawns. <laughs> for fuck's sake, <laughs> Oh no, lad, smell that. It smells for spicy. Do you think so? I don't know why we got more soy sauce, but soy sauce is so good. See, I've got no idea what these things are now. Cash me trying to fucking. How do you even do this? Mm. Mm. Listen to the scratches he. If you're loud. Oh, that was good. I think this this one there that I just had was just carrots. And I got wasabi in mine and I will not be eating it's that. There's fucking soy sauce all over my fucking sweat, man. So mine's literally just has carrot. Oh my god. It's the soy sauce and the rice. Who goes fuck with the rest? It's the soy sauce and the rice for me. This is terrifying to me. Like what the fuck is this? Oh it's a pepper. I'm just gonna fuck this. It's a red pepper. Let's tip it upside down and get the soy sauce all over the rice. Soak it in. There's no like proper sushi places around Belfast or anything though. Like even around here at all. So I would definitely go with her one. I love sushi. Zen does sushi and it's really nice. Well. Well. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's really nice. Oh. Not red pepper. I don't have a clue what any of these things are. It's good they get they give you like free soy sauce. <laughs> Fuck lad. That's the fucking times we're living in. Information on that. They are so good, guys. They give you free soy sauce with your sushi, even though what the fuck else? Are you gonna eat your sushi with? Oh god, that tastes like fucking. Why did I do that? Just like literal vodka. Oh no, I did not know how to use these. Did you say vodka? I I drank soy sauce. Have you ever drunk it? By itself? No. It tastes like vodka. Okay, guys, so I think we've got um, some sort of avocado situation. I'm gonna say avocado, carrot, and um, something else. Oh my god. I always see people bite into their sushi, but you can't you just have to eat it one, don't you? If you bite into it, it just fucking falls apart. God. You know what? I try to be cultured there, I try to use them sticks and I try to bite it, but I'm just gonna go on one gulp. Oh no, my avocado fell out. This is my last sushi. Oh 
Fuck out, tell it out. So good, like. What if these are rotten? They kind of look weird, like. These are vegetable dumplings with ch yellow chili sauce. Require cooking. Oh no, lad. How the fuck do you cook them? Microwave from chilled. Remove all packaging place in the microwave. Sprinkle with water for one minute, 20 seconds. Oh no. But like surely, like how is it gonna kill me? It's literally just fucking vegetables, like. Should I eat it now? Eat it now or else you're busy. But it says, like, I wouldn't care, but it says requires cooking. No, I'm not gonna eat that. Look it up. No, eating raw dough made with foreign eggs will make you sick. Well, that's a fucking shame. I mean, it says right on it requires cooking. I, I'm just gonna heat these up later and then I'll just do it on my phone and show you the two sets of that. But good job I got that fucking burger thing. Although I reckon that needs heated up as well. It's in the fridge and it's literally a pulled pork burger, basically. Vegan burger. It's got a pretzel roll with slaw, dill pickle, New York no beef. It's like pulled pork, basically. Uh, the box is soggy, so we're off to a good start. <laughs> You're wet. Trash. I'm not gonna lie, it smells a bit fucking shit. Right, are we gherkin? Guys, I wanna be honest, I'm not excited for this one. <laughs> I'm really not, it's fucking soggy at the bottom. But we're gonna give her a go anyway. Mm. Um, there's something so strange about it. There's something really weird. Mm. It must be like the sauce. It's the cheese, the vegan cheese. I'm not a vegan, guys. I'm a vegetarian. I can eat cheese. Will it give me diarrhea? Yes. Will I eat it? Yes. So I don't need this to be vegan. And it's like, vegan cheese just doesn't, it just doesn't hit the same. Like, fake meat hits the exact same. Vegan cheese will never compare to normal cheese. I'm just not obsessed. I don't hate it, but it's not, it's not the best, like. Them couple of bites was enough for me. That's not for me. Dead thing. That's the dead thing, man. Like, who eats cold burger? And it's like proper cold because it was in the fridge. Like, it's not just like lukewarm. Like, it's a fucking freezing cold burger. And this is what the inside looks like, guys. That looks like brains. So, overall, I don't feel like I can give a fair judgment because I literally got the fake sushi. Like, it wasn't even the real one. That is the real one. So, I will be back with you in a couple of minutes giving you my review of the dumplings. But in the meantime, let me show you what other things we bought dog treats. Rocky Road Bites. I feel like these are pure stereotypical M&S. Like, everyone that goes to M&S gets these wee things. But I've never tried these ones. They're cereal bites, so I'm going to try them right now. And then we also got Gigantic Buttons, which I feel like I've talked about before on my YouTube. I don't know why it needs more than one mention, but watermelon. This tea that I've also talked about on my YouTube. M&S. You better start sponsoring me, Jack. Rice, which was 60p. And I, I feel like that is good, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't grocery shop often, so... And that's all we got. Cereal milk clusters will be like, what? Do you, what is it? Like a, a fucking cereal bar, won't they? Just, it contains cornflakes, oats, marshmallows, sugar confetti, and yogurt. That's what it looked like inside. <laughs> Why did you repeat this? Because <laughs> you're right. So this is how they look. They're so fucking small. Mm. What? Mm. I love that. It's like a biscuit. Kind of just, just like a biscuit. Oh, they're good. Uh, these are fire! Oh my god, these are lovely. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll see you when I heat up my dumplings. Okay, so this is my vegetable, what are they called, dumplings? I actually had um, six, but I burnt one because you're supposed to put water over them and then put them in the microwave and I literally didn't. So I'm just gonna taste them without the saucy stuff. Hopefully it's not too burning. Mmm. So it looks like this on the inside. It's like mushy. We'll try it with the wee dressing, which. No. That smells like the galgon. That smells like the galgon. Czech. But we'll try it with that. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It's fucking smells like the galgon. Guys, Loki, they're fire. 
also would recommend. So I'm just coming on to close up the video because of course I didn't do an outro, but um, I just want to say that like all that food we tried was actually nice, bar the burger, the burger was rotten, don't recommend the burger, but the chicken goujons as well that I showed you in, like when I was in Eminus, and I think I showed it whenever I came out, were actually unbelievable. They were probably like the nicest fit chicken I've ever had. They were proper, proper nice. So definitely recommend trying it. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed.